So what is the next step? We have to make the user login also, right? So now I'm going to show you one of the best uh, token authentication. So go to settings, settings file, and right yeah. install this Nox here. Right Nox and write these two lines here rest framework nox auth token auth authentication and rest no rest nox this token ttl what does it do it just like whenever a token is generated the token is valid for 24 hours after that go to the views.py now you have to write the code for login this is also kind of api where it takes uh, nox login view as the argument here we are giving the permission to the class and again it is the post request we are sending the login serializer the data request data we are, uh, we are taking the data and sending it to the login serializer i will show you this in a minute uh, yeah go to serializer now write the following code in the uh, serializer so what does this code mean? yeah we are validating the login uh, credentials uh, so we are taking the phone and password here and if they are true we are matching uh, we are filtering and checking that uh, is the user exist yeah here we are authenticating the user user is equals to authenticate request is equals to where a username is equals to phone don't worry about this phone the phone variable actually indicates the username actually i'm giving the username and password to the serialize login serializer api and it is validating whether the user exists or not okay so if this uh, if the user does not exist so we are just saying phone number not found or username not found yeah. username not found and status is false yeah, and we are raising an exception okay and with the exception message and if not user if not user which means if uh, there is no user like this authenticate function returns the true or false whether the uh, authentication has been successful or not so if it is false the user with the username and password does not exist so we are just saying phone number and password not matching you can say that username and password not matching and status is false again we are raising the exception and uh, again in this message is phone number and password not found in the request yeah here if we are not sending the phone number and password in the post request so it is showing that error and we are sending the user status into the data of users and we are returning the data object we have to enable these things they are important to validate the token authentication nox login view in token authentication so i haven't talked about this thing right so we are using the nox authentication system here it automatically handles all the tokens so we don't need to worry about uh, all those things here we have to enable this one also yep mm -hmm. Yeah, our API is ready. So we are going. We will go to URLs again. We will register our URL here again. So we'll give the name login to be login API, right? Login API dot as score view. Yeah, we have to uncomment this line. We will run the server. Okay, first we have to run the migrations, okay? Because we installed a new app. Hmm. Python space manage dot py space run server. Sorry. Make migrations. Hmm, what is error? We will try it by commenting. Once. Yeah. The error is because we have not we have not installed the Nox module. Okay, so pip install Django iPhone REST iPhone Nox. This will install install the Nox into the system. Yeah, the Nox has been installed successfully. So I'm, I'm making the migrations. No module name forms. Uncomment this line and let's check once again. Migrations time delta is not defined. Okay, let's comment this also. No changes detected. Uh, Migrated ones. So we have to import the date time time delta. Yeah, let's run now. Okay, it's completely fine. Um, now our server is running. Once we will check our uh, API. So, yeah, login, and we will send username and password, and see what will be our result. The phone field is required. Okay, as I said that um, we have to give the username in the name as phone. Okay. 
yeah you can see here the token expiry time date, date and time has been given and also the token id and the user id and phone number phone number of the user so uh, the user has been logged in successfully go back here comment this line and write this line here and yeah okay our uh, login is working fine yeah i have made a little changes in logout so uh, go back to logout um, yeah urls.py so here i have deleted the old line and i have created a new line which is the nox logout in build view so we don't need to create an external api for logout so here uh, you can see i have created a url path and uh, yeah i have removed the function from here go back to the uh, postman so i'm trying the login again i'm passing phone and password is username and password yeah we have uh, successfully logged in so i'm copying the token from here let's see what is happening in our database inside the nox authentication yeah there is a new token which is generated you can see with the name the user is omkar123 uh, so now i will go to postman again so uh, we will try the logout also for logout we no need to send the phone and password and in headers you have to send the authorization uh, you have to send the values as authorization recheck your token and just send it yeah you can see an empty is uh, returned just reload the token authentication page you can see the token has been deleted this shows that the logged in user has been logged out successfully if you want the code i have provided the link in the description you can go to that page and copy the code from there so this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much friends please subscribe